there, guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. I think we're now on episode 7, and actually things are starting to get a little bit more interesting in terms of construction anyway. We're not getting attacked all that much, but I mean, that's that's why we're building walls, right? So that we don't get attacked as much. I mean, we got rid of our farm too, which was, a, I, think, I think it was a good choice for now. We are going to rebuild the farm. In other words, the animals, we are going to put more animals back in the farm, but we're just going to wait, get the walls done, get the moat started, get to get the secondary walls up well maybe we won't we won't even wait that long i i think we just we we need to get the walls up just so that the wolves don't come in and start stealing all our sheep again all right so yeah things are going quite well actually there's a lot we need to do today a lot of stuff we need to do i'm gonna start by just let's just pause and take a look at our guys or we'll just go at regular speed i don't like pausing so we've got waffle buffer who's our builder we do have two builders right now i don't know that we necessarily are going to need two builders because as soon as this wall is done then it's just focusing on the buildings on the inside so that's probably not necessary but what we do need <laughs> what we do so desperately need is more food so uh, we're going to be expanding the farms and the farmer can barely keep up with what we've got here even at level 14 i think she is level 13. so i think what we'll do is we are going to move angry mage you are now going to be a farmer and we're going to keep just one builder and on that note uh actually before we leave this screen so uh we've got john ray john ray yes and i have confirmed it yes so john ray is actually training he is training so we can actually go and we can take a look at this so yes training current task training so confirmed absolutely 100 percent confirmed tamor was saying that that option in settings uh let's do, let's just take a look at that so confirmed this means that they will train themselves up to level three so that's good i actually really like that once he's level three he'll be able to finish off building these training dummies so that's good let's go back here again so jean ray as soon as you're level three and you're finished doing that i think we're gonna move john ray back to a minor for now just just because I think we're, there's going to be a lot of mining, a lot of digging going on, a lot of digging. Now, Gnarly T, uh, we had you as a tailor. Yeah, you're working on some of that twine. I think I think we've probably got enough twine. We just needed to build the rest of those uh, uh, training dummies. So now that that's done, I think we will move you back to being... First, let's get you over to a carpenter because I think we need to expand. Let's expand this, this timber pile. We're going to do that, and then we're going to move you back to Stonemason so that you can continue building plaster. Oh, something else really, really, really important. Um, let's just... I guess we don't need to pause it. That's fine. So, remember last time I said we're, we're going to make make our frames for the for the windows? Apparently, we don't need to do that. Um, it, I think it was... Uh, Oh, shoot. Just one second. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I wanted to be sure that I was giving credit where credit is due. So it was it was uh, actually a myth who had said that we don't... The, 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 the game is smart enough. It'll make its own frames around the windows. So uh, let's keep this moving here. So what we need to do is uh, we did... Remember we used a different material here because we were going to use different material for the frame. But I, I didn't like doing that because I wasn't even sure if that's where I wanted the windows. So let's go back and let's remove all of this... Uh, let's go timber plaster, and we're just going to remove all of this. There we go, like that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to put that timber plaster around again. Perfect. Thank you, Amith. Very, very handy. So yeah, apparently the game is smart enough actually to build its own frames around the window. So you just need to leave some empty spots, which is perfect. <laughs> so another thing I'm planning on doing, um, and I don't know if you, how you guys feel about this, but I think most people will be okay with it. I want to do longer episodes of Timber and Stone. I don't think we get enough accomplished in in like one half an hour episode every couple days. I think I think uh, an hour every couple days. Sometimes it's three. Sometimes we're only doing two episodes a week. Most times it's only two episodes a week. So I'm cool with two hours of. Uh, well, maybe not a full hour, probably around 45 minutes of Timber and Stone. So I, we, we sort of end up doing that anyway because I end up playing... Whoa. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, look! Look, guys! A new migrant wishes to join your settlement. This is the very first person. Oh my god. Wow. I'm, I'm actually baffled and amazed and we will absolutely accept him. So... His name is U Lucas Randall. We will find a better name for you because I've got a whole list of names. And you are coming. You are a level three blacksmith. But we're, you know what? You might just stay as a blacksmith. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see here. But yeah, so you've you've two in archery. You've got three in woodchopper, three in blacksmith, two in stonemason. Oh, that's amazing. Or even if we had a full-time carpenter or something. I don't know. Oh, my God. 
charismatic and cowardly. <laughs> so he is not going to be a warrior, but he is sure is charming. And he's coming with food, a hammer, coal, scrap metal. Oh my god, this is amazing. We accept the migrant. Our first person. Okay, I have to pause it and actually go get a name. Wow, I, I was actually starting to lose hope about getting migrants. So this was at 223 food. Apparently, it's very food dependent. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a name. Yay! Okay, I have a name. Is he actually in our list already? He is. Oh, wow. Let's jump to him. Oh, he's here. He's actually here. Oh, wicked. Okay, so I have a name for you. Lucas, you are now going to be henceforth known as... A very simple name. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, Balrog. <laughs> Isn't a Balrog like a big demon or something? I don't know, but I don't know. Your name is Balrog. Uh, you and you're cowardly. So he he thinks he thinks a lot of himself, but he's really he's not that brave. But either way, that's fine. All right. So Balrog, you uh, blacksmith. Mm, I'm thinking. So we currently have, or we can make you our permanent stonemason. That's actually not a bad idea too. Because we need both. Well, we honestly, we need we need both. So how about Balrog? How about you go start hammering some stone? Because Gnarly T is so high up in Carpenter. I mean, it's I it gotta be... Uh, I'll, although we do need a blacksmith too. A full-time blacksmith would be amazing. You know what? I'm going to make you a full-time blacksmith. Uh, because you've already got the blacksmith skill. I think that makes sense. And uh, yeah, and then we, we do have a lot of actually little blacksmith jobs that need to be done too as well. So yeah, let's let's do that. And that way, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Absolutely fantastic idea. We got a new person, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so we do have uh, two farmers now. Hold on, what else was there? There was, so we've got the two farmers. We've got Angry Mage, who's a farmer. And I think that fits until until Angry Mage gets the, the, far, the, the, the herd back. I think that's perfect. So... And then we've got John Ray, who's our engineer, now level three, building... Oh, finally, yes. Okay, here we go. And, uh, John Ray is finally building these little training dummies, and then John Ray can go back to being a miner for now. And then John Ray will... Uh, John Ray is going to be our first infantryman. I mean, that's that's the John Ray infantryman. That's why we've named him so. All right, so John Ray, thank you for building those. Let's put you on as a miner. Yay! There we go. Oh, very, very cool. Okay, and then our wood chopper. Actually, we do need to check our wood to be sure that we are chopping. I've got some more credits to give here in a second. Uh, just give me a sec. Let's get the wood done first because... We seemed, I seem, this is one thing sometimes I forget to do, so let's make sure. And he is going quite a ways away to get that wood. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. I mean, we're not going to be running out of tree, trees anytime soon. Should we keep this tree here? I think it's, it's, it's nice. It's the town tree. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, and let's put this up to, I like speed two. Speed one feels like I'm in slow motion. And I'm the kind of person that likes to play games slowly, but yeah, that, that gets a little ridiculous. Oh yeah, how are we doing with this wall here now? So he's still digging out. Ah, we don't need to dig out all of that stuff I don't think like we can leave we can leave maybe this stuff here like that yeah you don't 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 worry about that stuff that's that's fine uh, we will clear out that iron for sure but the, <laughs> look at all the juicy minerals that we're finding oh that's amazing so actually you know what we're gonna be digging down here anyway so I'm not gonna worry too much we the first thing we're going to do before we do the mine is we're going to dig out the moat because we'll get lots of minerals for and and ores and stuff for digging out the moat too as well. Oh, we'll definitely dig that out and we could probably start just putting walls in. Oh, guys, we're almost done the wall. We're so close. Terrain, dirt, dirt walls. They may be dirt walls, but they are walls nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, I think we could probably, uh, don't want to go too far here. Let's, because I want, I want the, the miner has to finish what he's doing. Oh, I guess we gotta go down too as well. So let's go down. Might as well deal big dig down first, or build down first, get the get it all filled in, right? So and the builders, uh hold on. Storage. What are we missing? Oh, metals. Yeah, that was the other thing. We need to build a little metal storage area. And now that we have a blacksmith that can do that, that's amazing. Okay, so uh objects storage. And then metal. There's two different types. There's the minecart, which provides 30 mass, and I don't know if that's just for generic general metal stuff. Like is in ores and like just raw ore and stuff. And then we've got the ingot ingot stack, which is just for ingots, I believe. But the mine card, I think, is a good place to start. And I think we'll just do that like right, right here. That's fine. Right beside where, where we're going to be using it. Makes sense. And oh, yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so did we fix those walls? 
I think we did, yes. So uh, another thing we need to do is we need to get rid of these uh, scaffolding. I have some credit to give to Wan Ho. So Wan Ho has pointed out that scaffolding does not work like a ladder. You have to build them like stairs. So we're gonna remove those. So we're gonna go construction, utility, scaffolding. I, we don't even have to do it that way, but we're gonna do it that way anyway. Actually, no, we need to do dig mine. That's right, that's right. Dig mine to remove it. That's right, I remember now. So we're gonna go like this and we're just gonna go up like so, that should remove it, perfect. And then we're gonna do our scaffolding down again. Uh, construction, utility, scaffolding. I like to say it out loud because it helps me remember what I'm doing. So we're gonna do, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And then, yeah, they have to go up like stairs. So one like that, two like that, one, two, three like that, perfect. And then, yeah, look how quickly she built that, perfect. And now that's the one reason why they probably can't get in there. Also, I wanna be sure that we've got plaster on our process or on our little bar here so I can see track plaster. Yeah, that way I can see plaster when it gets built. And it should be our stonemason that's building that. Are we, do we have a stonemason yet? No, we we're gonna put gnarly tea back on stonemason as soon as he built that other thing, which he has, I think, let's just be sure. Yes, yeah, so he increased the size of our temper pile, which is great. And now we have, oh, perfect. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so another thing we need to do now that we have a full-time blacksmith, this is actually getting really interesting now that we've got, uh, got lots of people here. Well, more people anyway. So iron ore, uh, we need to make sure that we are processing all of our, our making ingots when, when we can. So I wanna keep, I wanna make sure, I mean, I wanna have lots here. I wonder if you shift or anything, can I control? No, I can't speed that up so I can, can't hold it down either so I don't know there's probably a way to do it but that's okay like go up by 10 or something so maintain the storage we're gonna maintain 50 of those in storage solid ingots when we have the opportunity to do so we're gonna build some of those uh we'll wait on that because I don't want him to he's he's not the level he's not the right level to do it yet but I don't want him to accidentally use up our standard ingots when we could be using our standard ingots for things like swords and stuff already uh, but we have to get them up in level first so which means we just we just need more of this copper ore. That is so important right now. So, hmm, copper ore, yeah, well, we'll, we'll work on that. All right, we need a fire. We didn't start the fire. Hold on. <laughs> that sounds like a song. I feel the song coming on. No, I'm not gonna sing. I refuse to do that to you guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're working on plaster. Yeah, perfect, excellent. This is going well. So, and we, how much timber? We've got 200 timber and we've got a lot of stones. So you know what? It is also time. Well, we'll finish this wall first. It's very, very dark. <laughs> it gets so dark. Oh yeah, we can actually finish the wall now. Awesome, okay, let's do it. So, uh, construction, train, dirt, and the dirt wall will be complete. Finally, so we'll put that up to there, and then we're gonna do this up to here, and then across, excellent. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have three high walls all the way around. I think that's probably a really good idea. Um, just fill some dirt in there so he has, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea to do three high walls. Um, I, I, I'm hesitant to do that though, because I'm tempted to take down the walls eventually. Like we're gonna do, I think we'll do the moat, we're gonna do the walls and then a moat and then maybe another stone wall around all of this. So, I mean, it kind of makes more sense to do the inner keep walls really high and strong. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you think we should do? Do you think we should keep the dirt walls and then do another, eventually do another stone wall around it? Or do you know the game well enough to know that maybe dirt walls are gonna be good enough if they're high enough? Are they good enough? I, I don't know. I'm thinking because I, I'm thinking they wouldn't catch on fire, but what happens when it rains? That's the only thing I'm kind of concerned with. Okay, so is our miners... Okay, now let's go back to our... Yeah, uh, so let's go back. Uh, we've got Jack Marius and Jean Ray are currently mining, so we want to make sure that we've got a lot of jobs for them now because... Their current job, the the stuff that we that stuff that we had them doing is all done. So what we can do, it's very very dark. So I'm I apologize for that. You guys can't see it very well. So what we're gonna do first off, I'm gonna stop working on these hills in general, but I want to make sure that we collect all of the uh, immediately available resources like the copper and stuff because we've got a blacksmith. Oh, that's so amazing. I'm so glad we got more people. And now having two farmers, oh, speaking of, speaking of, before we go any further, we need to make sure that we expand these farms properly too. Construction, terrain. I have one more credit to give to as well. Uh, just give me one sec here. Because something, something I learned. I learned something and it's you guys. I gotta start giving you guys credit because you, I don't, I can't even begin to explain how helpful you guys are. I don't like going and watching YouTube videos of other people playing. I don't know, it just takes something from the game for me. Um, 
just because I'm currently playing it. I want to discover things on my own. But if you tell me something, I don't know, like if you if you give me information, I, that doesn't bother me at all. I, I just don't want to go, you know, do a whole bunch of research on something and kind of destroy the mystery. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's different when you guys tell me. Because you're, 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 like, I feel like I play with you guys. It's different. It's totally different. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to give, person I wanted to give credit to is Chris McCool for... Watch this, guys. You're gonna love this. Okay, so oh, I already I already turned it on before because I needed to test it. But options because I needed to know where it was. So we can actually there's a a button here to say display current depth level. So the the reason we haven't been able to manipulate the depth level. Remember, I even changed the keys and everything is because I just didn't. You, you don't if you don't know where you're at. You, it it just it doesn't. Okay, so I'll show you. So I did change it back to page up, page down. So let's save changes. So now, uh, if we don't know what depth we're at, um, and when I hit page up, page down, nothing seems to happen, right? But now that we've, we can see the depth, we can see it is actually changing. See how it's changing? Top left corner. So uh, now when we go down low enough, dun, 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 watch this. Ah, look at that. Now we can actually look at the different depth levels below the ground. So when we start building mines and stuff, oh, that is so great. I love this tool. This is an amazing tool. So yeah, that is super handy. So now when we start building this mine, and now we can just, you know, we can actually take a look at the, the individual levels and stuff. I don't know why that's relevant, but I mean, actually it is kind of relevant. If, 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 for example, when we finish building these buildings, which we are going to start doing pretty soon here, and we put roofs on them, then, you know, we can actually see what's going on inside the buildings using this tool as well. Very, very, very handy. Thank you very much, Chris McCool. Very handy. Okay, so let's go back uh, now. Right, digging. That's right. So we, let's get all of this. Uh, they're currently filling in those holes for the farmer, so we'll go deal with that in a second. Let's get this copper. Oh, look at all this juicy copper. Copper and tin and copper and coal. More coal iron. And I think we need to be level 7 to be able to smelt that iron too as well. I'm not sure. We'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure it's level 7. So I, I think, oh, was there anything on this? Yeah, there's some tin. Go up one level, yeah, that's it, just some tin there, cool. So they will go deal with all that. And then what I'd like them, oh, we might as well, hmm. you know, we might as well, I will just leave this stuff here for now, that's fine. We know it's here, we can always get it later. All right, so we're gonna be digging out a decent size mode. I want it to be, you know, go down fairly far but we're gonna make sure the stairs kind of going down for now until we get oh looks like kind of made a boo-boo in there somewhere too so let's maybe fix that so what we can do is we could go like this and go down I don't know how big of a boo-boo I made there but maybe we'll just go out a little bit like that and then we'll just go shift I'll shift there we go clear perfect excellent Excellent, just like that. Uh, so the trees get in the way. I, I, don't, I don't know, the trees kind of annoy me. They're pretty, like I, I like them, they're pretty, but um, they do kind of get in the way. All right, cool, so now we can, so this this will be a great way to get some materials too, because we're going down fairly far with this little moat thing too as well. So we're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna go, uh, I just wanna do it one layer at a time though, for now. Oh, and we need to fix this road here. I'm so glad that we got a new person. Ah, oh, Balrog, welcome. Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's it's nice to know that that is working. I was a little concerned. I was getting a little concerned that maybe maybe that's broken somehow. Like I don't know. Maybe maybe you just can't get people right now in the game. Like, but no, no, it's working. It's just it takes a while, and your food has to be right up there. Look, our food's already back down to 174. That's not good. <laughs> ah, so yeah, now new mouth to feed, which means we need more food. But we do have two farmers, and we are going to be expanding the the farms very quickly here. Ah, cool. All right, so let's go do... Ah, uh, yeah, we can do that right now. Perfect. So farms. Let's go farms. We want more carrots. More carrots. And we want more corn. More corn. I need to make potato chips. Corn chips. <laughs> there we go. More corn. And then we want more turnips. Ugh. <laughs> you guys can have your turnips, man. Mmm. I guess I don't know. We'll make a stew or something. Ugh, uh, something that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill the flavor of those things, though, though, because they're disgusting. <laughs> ah, ah, this is actually going quite well, quite well. And also, I want to get started on our new buildings too. And I'm gonna do these uh, kind of the same way. So we're gonna do construction. We're gonna go walls, and we're gonna go fieldstone. We're gonna do a layer of fieldstone at the bottom. Just gonna do one layer because these are not gonna be multiple multiple uh, levels, they're just gonna be the one level. So we're just gonna do the foundation, the stone foundation for both buildings. 
I think having one builder is fine. The, the, I, I think that's actually working out quite well. I don't think we need two. For building walls, I think having two builders is really handy. I think we're going to bring this out just a little bit. We're going to... Yeah, I think... I don't. There wasn't quite enough room there, and I think... Ooh, I almost want to dig that out, but that's fine. That's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, so like that. And, oh, do we want to... It just seems cramped in there, but no, 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 no. We can't, we can't do that because we we put all of those toolboxes. I was gonna build the wall out one more, but no, we put all put all those toolboxes down. I'd have to move them all. Uh, well, I wouldn't have to, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I get weird about stuff like that sometimes, and I need to have things looking, you know, organized and nice. I'm actually quite bothered already by this, so I need to fix this. I, I can't help it, guys. It's 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 kind of an OC, OCD thing. Like I just I can't I can't in good conscience expand this wall out without fixing the foundation so we're gonna do that we're gonna dig that out and i you know I th i'm sure you guys appreciate my little my issues as well because i'm sure there's somebody else going out there going no you can't do that because you haven't fixed the floor <laughs> the foundation isn't right even though it would never matter but it matters to me cool already building the walls cool and then we're gonna do the plaster the the timber and plaster the plaster and timber or whatever um all, uh, all the way up and then we're gonna do the roof. Yeah, very simple buildings, but I think it'll look cool. I think it's gonna look great. Uh, very cool, this is going well. Uh, are we going speed two? Yes, we are. Okay, just one second, guys. Ah, yes, I needed a beverage. I was getting a little choked up for some reason. Sometimes, sometimes when I chat, and I chat too much, I get a little choked up. I don't know why. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense if I talk too much. And I do talk too much. <laughs> then nobody is ever saying that I don't talk enough, that's for sure. Balrog, what are you doing? Okay, so, yeah, we need to, I want to keep our blacksmith occupied, but maybe there's just not enough work for him right now. I mean, we've got our two miners. They are digging out some of those things but I mean we've got 11 oh well let's let's make use of some of these these ingots actually let's see what we can build because we might actually be able to build some hand tools that will not go away in other words I think the second level I was told that the second level of hand tools actually never disappear but we need we need the skill right so Balrog he's still level three he'll probably be level three for a while yeah 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 okay so let's see if there's anything that we can build that's actually see it's all level six level six blacksmith level six blacksmith level six and I bet you it's the same for the weapons, but worse. Because weapons, I would think that you'd need to be level 5 for a short sword. We're close, we're close. Uh, 8, 12, 16, oh wow. And then, of course, all the bows, halberd, level 18. 18 to build the halberd. This game only goes up to level 20. Spear is level 5. Yeah, uh, level 12 engineer for that. Armor, armor is probably more the same. I think there's some tailoring stuff that we could, like, with, uh, with a tailor. Actually, that'd be a good combination. Tailor slash blacksmith because the tailor also deals with leather too as well am i correct in that i'm pretty sure i am yes so the tailor also deals with leather but we need level five tailoring so what we could do is we could tell him to be a tailor and just practice actually that's a really good idea that way he's actually getting the skill too as well or he's still getting skill even though he's not actually doing anything so let's go and I'm, hopefully we can do that yeah train under three perfect and wait in hall while well, I'll, I'll make sure that's on and let's you know whatever he uh breaks the tool we want to know too as well perfect so now he's actually doing something he's getting better at tailoring i think that's a great idea um tailoring because then he we can make i wonder if we can make any leather armor or anything like with what what can we do with level three so we can't we can't even make leather at level three but we can make cloth at level three now what can we make with cloth hmm. tunics gotta be level five yeah everything man so he just, I guess, practiced making cloth for a while. And what do we need to make cloth? We just need wool. And I think we had some wool. Uh, let's let's go back. Not enough. Of course, not enough to actually do anything. Uh, let's track that. And wool, wool we just get from the sheep, right? This is why we. This is why having sheep would be a really good idea. Did we ever get shears built? I just want to just want to check. Let's go to back to our tool shears. So we still don't have shears. That is something he can do. Let's get up oh, level four. <laughs> we have two knives, so I mean, we could we could go into the knife selling business. We could make some knives because that's one of the things that is, that's still level three. But everything else is like level level five or higher, except for these shears. We man, okay. So eventually, we're gonna have want to have a couple sets of shears available to us. I wonder if these will ever break. I doubt they will because they're metal, right? Um. So I guess. He could practice a little bit, make another knife so we have three on hand. But really, what else What else is there that he could build that's like blacksmithing? Nothing. We just got to wait for for the more more uh, more of the uh, 
copper to get pulled out of the ground. Once we get that, then he can start turning those into ingots. Making ingots is probably the best thing he can do right now. Doesn't have enough inventory space to build the block. What? Hold on. Uh, speed two for sure. Metals, we need to get, uh, actually getting an iron ingot. Place to put the iron ingots too as well. We can also put in these floors again. Cobblestone brown. Yes, that that is way better. Yes, that that satisfies my OCD. And I do, I think I have a little bit of OCD sometimes. Sometimes I'm very careless though. So that's why I think maybe I don't. But sometimes I'm just, I can't, I'm paralyzed. I can't actually do anything until I fix something that seems to be wrong. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that maybe I've got a little bit. I think everybody's got a little bit. You know, people, people get particular, you know, and they just have to have things, uh, even with two farmers, look at this, even with two farmers, they can't keep up. So I think it was a good choice. Two farmers was a really good choice. Uh, got that floor in? Yes, just about. Okay, perfect. That's what I was waiting for. Excellent. So let's get the rest of that, that wall in that first layer of wall which is the field stone i like the field stone actually it's, it's kind of it's got the the green kind of you know it's got growth running through it i actually really like that and then we're gonna put a place to store our hold on metal and ingots we're gonna put a place to store the ingots oh it's a blacksmith that builds that oh that's convenient oh perfect so that's nice so we'll just let him we'll let him finish off there perfect now ah uh, yeah, putting the ingots like right beside the, the 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 forge here. That's actually a really good idea. There we go. We'll put that right there. Now I know he's a tailor right now, but we'll and we'll just let him practice as a tailor because we don't have enough for him to do as a blacksmith quite yet. We're gonna need more tool storage as well. Wow. <laughs> um, I mean it's good, right? I mean. It means we're although i was told actually uh, i don't remember who said it i'm sorry but uh apparently the more wealthy you are in other words the more stuff that you have lying around the more likely you are to get attacked so that is a bit of a concern we're going to do another tool chest right in here like that i wonder if we could stack them i think we probably could i don't know yeah sure i i think so we're getting hold on is that plaster yeah we're getting plaster but we're not actually building it's so slow wow it's super dark in here sorry guys <laughs> super dark super dark it's even dark for me like i can barely see this game i actually like that it gets that dark but it, it's really hard for you know people watching on youtube weird uh, the reason this is sitting here is it's a reminder to me to get and eventually get an engineer up to level seven how we're gonna do that i have no idea if you know how to get your engineer up in levels i mean there's only so many things that the engineer can build i mean we could build we could build the archery targets we could build the training dummies um, but I mean, there's not a lot of in-between stuff for that for again kind of like the blacksmith Well, there's way more stuff for the blacksmith than there is for the engineer like I'm not sure I guess there maybe there's some I don't know. I have no idea. What do we do? What do we do with bones? It, see in real life you can you can grind down bones and make lye I think so maybe soap <laughs> But look we're down to 119 food. Wow our food is dropping like crazy. I guess well, in between the crop, also we did expand the crops too as well. So we actually took those carrots and we replanted them. So we actually took food from the stores and replanted it too as well. And I think the same thing works with corn and turnips. I think that's how it works. So you actually replant them because I don't think there's actually a difference between carrot seeds and a carrot. Let me just see here. Uh oh, skeletons spotted by gnarly toolmaker in town. What? How, how how did the skeleton spawn in town? <gasps> it went through our wall. That's how. No. Oh, sorry for yelling, guys, but okay. Actually, he tore down the the door. He smashed down the door. Oh no. But we didn't even know. Like, how do we know? Like. I wonder if we can set, uh, when we do get infantrymen, I wonder if we can set like patrols and stuff. I don't know. Okay, so we have a, we have an invader. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that he, like, I thought we'd get notified. Somebody's banging on the door and tore down a door and nobody knew. All right, so let's, appears to be healthy. Okay, we're gonna charge the enemy, but let's make, let's get, uh, let's change, let's change over a couple people to infantry. Uh, of course, uh, blah, blah, blah. John Ray, go grab, you've got a club. You should be fine. So just switch to infantryman. And who else is close by? I, I don't know. I don't think it matters. I, th I think they'll just... Hold on. The, the, there is a person that doesn't have a club. There is. Balrog does not have a club. 
Um, we really should rename you to Balrog Blacksmith. Um, but we should actually get you get you set up with a club here. Actually, while we're right now, let's do it. So let's get you. Uh, eventually, you're gonna have a sword, but because we have the clubs, we have extra clubs. So let's get you with a club first. Okay, perfect. Because every everybody else should be good to go. All right. So where is where's the stupid skeleton again? <laughs> All right. Uh, attack! Attack! Hopefully, hopefully things go well here. <gasps> so, spotted by Gnarly T. Gnarly T does have a club. Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, guys. Everybody, everybody in town needs to become... Okay. Whoops. <gasps> okay. Uh, Just taking a mental snapshot of this because everybody is becoming an infantryman. We need everybody to just suit up. <laughs> Suit up, everybody! And as a matter of fact, we're probably gonna have to send... Wow, okay, everybody's... Uh, cancel charge? No, 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 no. Everybody charge. Oh my god! There, There's five? We can... Okay, everybody needs to get in here. Like, right now. Um, hold on. I, we can cycle through them. It might be easier to do it like this? I don't know. We need to get... Whoops. This way, everybody is for sure coming to help. Oh my god, everybody's so separated, too. Okay, uh, you need to go get a club, so I'm not going to touch you. Uh, waffle buffer, just get you over here. I guess, let's get you, come come back a little bit. <laughs> uh, who is that? That is, uh, that's Gnarly T. Okay, everybody's coming. Oh no. Ouch! Everybody! Come on! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Gnarly T, you need to go for a walk, dude. Go for a walk. You are badly injured. Alright, now it's it's time for Felis! Felis! Show us your stuff, guys. Come on. Uh, there's somebody else in here. Pie Blueberry. we got to keep an eye on Pie Blueberry, too. So, carefully, slowly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pie, I want you to go for a walk, Pie. Ha! <laughs> Who's running? Uh, Balrog, you're you're okay. Uh, uh, did you get that club though, Balrog? Waffle Buffer, you're okay. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. I can't. T it, the problem with this graphics, like the graphics are a little rough. It's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on all the time. Um, let's just just run. I think you're gonna run anyway. But oh man, I can't I can't quite see if there's another person in there. I mean, it's also dark too as well. Oh, there is another person in there. Okay, so let's see. Who is that? Uh, angry, angry mage. <gasps> no! No! Angry mage is dead? No! Oh, no. I, I don't think we're going to survive this, guys. Everybody's running. Yeah, how... how we... <laughs> so they, 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 they smashed down... Oh, no. What do we do? I think we're hooped. Angry Mage died. No! Oh, where'd the body go? The body disappeared. Maybe Angry Mage came back as a skeleton. <gasps> is that is that how this works? Oh no! Is that, that would be super funny. But okay, well, I I I, I, I honestly I don't think there's anything we can do. I oh, that's. The skeleton got it. That's exactly what happened. The skeleton came back. I mean, Angry Mage came back. Oh no, we're we're toast. That's it. Oh no. Oh no. No. Well, we're gonna let this resolve. <laughs> this was my first time playing through a, a full game of Timber and Stone, so I mean, I had a really good time. Definitely things I would do different. Hundred percent, I would really focus on mining. Oh my god. There lies Pie Blueberry. Oh no, Pie Blueberry Balrog. Our newest guy. It took a long time for us to get new people too, as well. I, maybe doing training and getting swords going right away might be a really good choice. Getting somebody, getting people mining quickly, I think would be a really good thing. Oh no, it's it's all over. It's all over, guys. It's really. I mean, the guys that are oh gnarly T slain. <laughs> oh no, there goes gnarly T. We we had bas we basically didn't focus on our military at all. We did build walls, but a lot of good that did us. I think we also, we didn't use brace doors or anything. Everybody's in bed sleeping. Oh. So are the skeletons going to come and, and actually smash down the door? Where are the skeletons? Are they gone? Did they leave? 
<laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Do we? Are they in here? Oh, yeah, it's over. There, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Who is that? Jack Marius. Oh, no. This is... This reminds me of our RimWorld game that we played the other day. Just tragedy. Just tragedy occurs and everybody dies in this terrible event. That's... Uh, you know what it is? We, we had... We were so wealthy. That was the other thing. Like, I mean... We had a lot of um, we had a lot of materials and a lot of stuff. We were building up a lot of stuff, but we didn't have any good warriors to protect it all. We didn't have any defenses. Is is he the only one that's still alive? Hold on, you. Yeah, all that's left is Felis, <laughs> our lumberjack. Oh, tragedy. Felis just. Uh... <laughs> this was a great game. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm going to be coming back to Timber and Stone for a while. I think we'll let this one rest. We've got some Stone Hearth coming up soon, so uh, that's something to look forward to. Um, we, we we might come back to Stone Hearth, or to Timber and Stone. I think that the deciding factor coming back to this, to Timber and Stone is whether or not the developer comes back and starts working on it more because it's, it's definitely there's some thing that things that need to be fixed with it i really enjoyed the experience i i think there's so much potential this game this game has so much potential it's it's brilliant it's brilliant brilliantly put together there's so much here that we could build i like the the, the building the way that you can build is actually i prefer it over stone hearth in a lot of ways although i can't put down an entire building at once i don't mind building things at piece Meal like that i think it's fun but i mean so stone hearth has 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 so many things going for it i mean it's 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 such an up-and-coming new game and the devs are right in there and I'm, I'm really excited for it but i still think that this game has merit so i i don't know i really enjoyed the experience i hope you guys enjoyed it kind of a sad way to end the series but i mean skeletons <laughs> i think i think we were too rich we were fat we were rich We'd grown, you know, lazy, and no, I, I think we just hadn't worked on a military, and I was really focused on trying to understand how uh, how building works, too, as well. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, I really enjoyed the experience. I hope you and you guys enjoyed Timber and Stone, and that is, that's our grand finale. <laughs> and we will see you probably soon in Stonehearth, too, as well. So, all right, guys, well, that's it. Take care. <laughs> Aw, so sad. Uh, bad skeleton. Bad skeleton.